May is ALS Awareness Month and tonight we bring you an update on a former Army Ranger who is slowly losing his battle with this disease. Yep, he says he has just one wish left, but he needs your help. To get the pieces that I need and I'll, I'll check them out. Larry Davis is slowly losing his fight with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. I thought I was a strong and tough guy. Um, I thought I could handle anything in front of me. Uh, boy, was I wrong. He spends every chance he can outdoors, soul searching and breathing the fresh air while he's still able. It's a lot to think about. Um, it's a lot to swallow um, because, you know, you are going to be paralyzed um, and it, it'll paralyze you till it shuts your lungs off and you can't breathe anymore. The only thing you can hear out here is birds. May animals. is ALS Awareness Month. The wind, the trees. It's just beautiful. And as Davis lives with the death sentence he most likely won't avoid, his wish is for all of us to come together for those who face hopelessness. There's all kinds of organizations out there that you can donate to that actually has a cause for ALS. It may not cure it, but it actually helps us. There's nothing Larry wants more than another day with his family, his friends, and those he's grown to love through the years. They were just chipping it, chipping away at it. His happy place is Fowler's Ranch in Kempner, just a few miles from his home. These are little pieces of flint. He says the only thing left to do outside of hunting more arrowheads in nature is to give back what others selflessly gave him through the years. I guess what's left on my bucket list is just to love one another like they love me and just to go out with a bang is all I want to do. In Kempner, Barry Roy, 6 News. Now, according to the VA, veterans are at higher risk for developing ALS due to lead exposure and other environmental factors. The life expectancy of someone when the disease has been uh, estimated or diagnosed is between two and five years.